All right, this is my 2023 Skidoo Summit X 165, three inch track, flex edge, 650 kilometers on it from last season. We've got a couple tears in the track. Like look at this lug, yeah, this lug, and then we have a little bit of separation at the base in this lug. Now I've already attempted to warranty this before the one year track warranty I had on this sled. And it was denied by ski -Doo primarily based on they're just lugs, it's not structural is what I was told. So hopefully the one at the base of this lug, no, this that's just starting right there. Hopefully it doesn't propagate over the season, but I will be monitoring it. But, tried warranty, no go, so we're gonna run the track, see what happens. But we're gonna do a little bit of tie wrap stitching on these and we're also going to use some vulcanizing rubber cement to try and stick them together and another trick which i don't believe i've seen out else there but guys talk about it which is you know you cut the whole lug off so the splitter crack doesn't wherever it is doesn't propagate into the structure is the way i've always interpreted it so we're going to uh burn it we're going to burn the rubber so that the end of the crack doesn't have a route to go that's my theory that's what we're going to try and do today let's do it so for supplies today, we got an eighth inch drill bit, a little bit of emery cloth, some name brand rated sun resistant tie wraps. These are like T and B's, um, you know, propane torch, a stainless screwdriver, which is what we're going to be using to do some burning, some vulcanizing cement for tire repair, uh, flush cut, drill, compressed air for cleaning it up. All right, we should be nice and hot enough there. All right, that was my first shot. Let's see how we did. So before, when I was pulling on this, we could see a little bit of a crack where it was going to continue to the right of the lug. Obviously there's a support behind here as well, another rib, just like on the edge that we're kind of working into a little bit, but with that there, oh, focus, there we go. So yeah, with that there, there was a much deeper, larger propagating crack in there, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a touch up and see what can happen. I guess I should have done a close up shot before of what it looked like, a little bit better, but yeah, that looks a little better. The crack doesn't look like it's gonna propagate nearly as much. I kinda got to the root of it, I think, with that little, burning, melting it. And now, try and do our first stitch. So obviously that eighth inch drill bit leaves a pretty tight hole for these tie wraps. But of course the end of these tie wraps is always a little bit softer, so I'm gonna already give, her, give myself a little advantage here. And then let's see if we can get her through the raw hole. Now I think I could shove that if I tried really hard. And especially if I pulled the back side with some pliers. But I'm gonna just give her a little embiggening with some heat. All right, so I specifically went on the inside of each of these ribs, and I'm only gonna be using like the small little part of the rubber to hold it together, is my thought. Where if I went on the other side of the under ridge of this lug, and the outside of here, I could get more structural stability with the tie wrap, but, well, you gotta make a decision on how to do it, and this is how I think it's gonna be better I kind of don't want to mess with those structure, structural ribs too much, even just tie wrapping around them, getting them out of shape. So let's try and put a little bit of vulcanizing cement and uh, tie wrap her together and see what happens. I can give her a little bit of freshen up on the surface. that guy aside, just take a different tire app or a Q-tip or something, just have one beside me and I'm just gonna make sure we get all, all up in there, this guy. All surface is done. Go back to my prep tire app. 
Now I'm gonna put smooth face on the front or the top, which is what contacts the snow primarily. Now I don't see a reason to overdo it. Just finger tight. Lots of times in the trade, guys would, you know, get a pair of linesmen's on their tie wrap or whatever, make sure you cinch it down. These guys aren't the full size. I think the 28s are like the nor what I would call the normal size in my experience. These are the size down. Come on, where are you? Now this is the one I didn't like so much because it was right at the base and right on the edge and you know that does a lot of flexing and, and such so like there's nothing really to do stitching here but it's like basically if this starts to separate you just gotta axe this whole lug so like basically after my first ride I'm gonna inspect this and if it if any prop anything else happens basically keep a monitor on it if this keeps going this part of the lug is G -g gone it is no more I'm thinking I'm gonna cut it right off there's no real way to fix structure in a track to my knowledge so I'm gonna put a little bit of a cement in there see if it helps but keeping an eye on it and it's gonna be probably get cut out after the next ride but high hopes well thanks for watching hopefully you learned something from this track video track repair video anyways Find yourself in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you did. Tell me how much of an idiot I am. It's your choice. Thanks for watching though.